What's up, Pisces? This is Soul. And Pisces, this is your bi-weekly messages beginning uh, April 8th and ending April 22nd, 2019. The messages will be for Pisces uh, Sun, Pisces Moon, and Pisces Rising Signs as well. All right, my fellow Pisces, I hope all is well. Before I begin your messages, I want to wish all those Pisces who celebrate uh, Easter a very safe and happy Easter celebration. Okay, so... As before, Pisces, um, the bottom card after I shuffle would be the shadow uh, energy. And I'll use that. And it may be uh, some energy that plays out with the rest of the cards that are selected for you for your uh, reading. And this is all potential energies. These are general readings. Um, you know, I can't emphasize and state enough to uh, once these cards are laid out and, you know, I tell my story and my version of what could be possibly coming up for you you take those same energies and create your own story and see what unfolds uh, nothing I say is written in stone and um, you know these messages are only here to offer guidance uh, for you along your journey okay if they're useful then so be it if they're not don't waste a lot of energy trying to um, you know, come after me or because you didn't like <laughs> what I said or the cards that showed up. It's, people take shit too serious. All right. So what's the energy for Pisces for the next two week period of time? And let's see what's coming up. All right. Let's see. Pisces. Shadow card energy, Pisces, that may play out along with the rest of the cards that have been selected for you is related to the Seven of Swords in the upright position. Okay, so the Seven of Swords is, of course, you know, thievery, you know, someone taking something from you. Uh, this is a general reading, so I always apply the information as someone wanting to return from your past. But if that is the case, or it could be Pisces wants to return to someone from your uh, from their past, now that could be a romantic partner, that could be a friendship, that could be dealing with, you know, a family member. But in the upright position, <laughs> the card Seven of Swords is always about conflict. The conflict is still there. OK, so just keep that in mind. Also, it could be that, you know, be careful of um, lost items, you know, losing your keys, your wallet or documents or whatever. Someone picking something up from you uh accidentally or intentionally this is a card of robbery so be careful and i'm not saying that to scare anyone uh just be mindful of your possessions all right seven of swords representing um gemini libra aquarius male or female so the overall energy and i like this card as i got a sneak peek for you uh, that could play out that's covering the two-week period of time for you Pisces is the two of cups okay two of cups is here in the upright position this is representing your energy and that energy of the other water signs cancer and Scorpio so with the two of cups showing up here that means harmony peace seeing eye to eye with one another in terms of your relationships with others your romantic partnerships your friendships your family cups represent children for me this is a social card. It could be going out to dinner, first dates. All things are encompassed in this two of cups in the upright position. It's all about feeling good, you know, in line, in tune with another person's energy. All right. Whoever that person is and whatever that relationship uh, you have with this other person means to you. OK, so that's good. We're starting off pretty good. Let's hope the energy continues. Um, following the two of cups now is the queen of wands. You know, this queen of wands has been showing her ass up here for quite a few of these videos, the last three videos, as a matter of fact. So I don't know if there's, uh, if she's in the past position, but she's in, you know, still part of, uh, the energy for the two week period of time. Someone could be dealing with an unruly fire sign, a true fire sign. Otherwise, if it's not, because it is a court card, it could also represent male energies that, some of you may just feel, you know, even though the passion is there, you may feel less passionate. Uh, things are <clears throat> going to be feeling less intense 
whatever that energy means for you, okay? But I do feel that somebody's dealing with an unruly fire sign. Could be mother, father, could be someone else uh, older, uh, but that's the energy that I'm picking up here, all right? So what's following this Queen of Wands, um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, male or fe male or female energies is... Oh, you have the Ace of Cups. So you have the Two of Cups and now you have the Ace of Cups, Pisces. This is awesome. This Ace of Cups represents the start of something new and some endeavor, okay? Uh, that could be a new relationship. That could be a new job. This could be a birth of a child since the cup represents children for me. Uh, this could be an offering or some type of renewal energy and relationship to a relationship, whether it's romantic platonic or if it's family this queen could be representing family and she's in the past position so maybe the energy is passing her or him and then things start to turn around so whatever this uh, energy means for you we have the support of the two of cups remember this could also be in line with the holidays you know uh, Easter holiday season approaching us spending quality time uh, with your significant others your family members your friends your romantic partner whoever that may be. So I like this. Ace of Cups. Following the Ace of Cups, that represents your uh, your energy. And I always like the energy to show up for the sign that I'm reading for. It just lets me know that I'm, I'm really, um, you know, fine-tuning uh, the messages and stuff. But even though I say certain things, you know, you can still take these cards, look at them, and then create your own story. Because it's nothing that I say is written in stone. Now we have the Seven of Pentacles following that uh, Ace of Cups in the upright position. So this is not bad. This is, you know, some of you may be focused on work. Some of you may be focused on, you know, um, a work in progress. So there's a project that you're working on uh, that could be outside of the workplace environment. Uh, but this is a card of a work in progress focused on work. And it also, too, is about money. So finances. This building up or saving, saving for something important in the future. Okay, that's the Seven of Pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn. Um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo represents the Earth energies of the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, what's up next now after the Seven of Pentacles? Oh, <laughs> Pisces, we have the Nine of Cups. Okay, so this is all, it's right underneath the Two of Cups. You guys see me shuffle these damn cards right and select them. So, like I said, you can create your own story with the information that I've, has been selected for you and see what unfolds during this next two week period of time. Nine of Cups is the yes answer to all relationships. OK, romantic, not just romantic, but all relationships. I equate this energy sometimes with the uh, energy of the star card. Hopes, wishes and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested It's under the two of cups. It's about family, all relationships, and it could be definitely in relationship to the, uh, you know, Easter holiday celebration where you're around, surrounded by family members and friends. And there's nothing but love being generated uh, coming towards you and you. Uh, sending out that same love. See, this is equanimity here when it comes to mutual feelings and respect for one another. And just because it's the two, that could be uh, another individual, but it could also be inclusive of family members, extended family members. So this is the extended family members comes in with the nine of cups. OK, because there's nine cups here. So we have the nine of cups showing up here for your reading, uh, Pisces. Thank God. Finally, for some good energy for my fellow fishes. Oh, my gosh. OK, so let's see what's happening with this queen of wands. Who's underneath her? What's the energy underneath her? The hierophant is in the reverse. So there we go. There's something going on with a relationship between uh, Pisces and possibly a true fire sign or it's an earth sign. This is the relationship card. OK. The message here for you is that if you're dealing with a situation related to another person, do not give up hope. Do not give up faith. OK, things will uh, eventually you have the Ace of Cups in terms of support, but this is a major. All right. So someone may be losing uh, hope or faith in a situation or a person. Since it's underneath the um, Queen of Wands. But the Hierophant says don't give up 
Don't give up. All right. This is the relationship card. Someone could be completing studies. Someone could be completing uh, training on the job. Um, someone could be uh, basically questioning their spirituality or their um, their religion. So much stuff is coming in with this um, higher fun in the reverse. Representing Taurus and then other Earth energies, Capricorn and Virgo, male or female. But the mainstay, mainstay of the message is not to give up. Do not give up. Okay. All right. So now there we go. We have the nine of pentacles. So someone <laughs> is getting money. Okay. This is someone taking out money. This could be 401k. This could be, you know, investments. But this is a card of enjoying the fruits of your hard work and your labor. Now it's like you're going to pull that money out to do some. This could be purchasing stuff or a big ticket item like a um, could be renovating a home, could be purchasing a home. But this is the savings here. OK, but it's well deserved because you've earned it. That's the card saying that you've earned because you worked hard to put that money away and now you're taking this money out or investment or savings to treat yourself. OK, and that's how it's supposed to be done underneath the Ace of Cups, the start of something new, um, whatever that start of something new means to you. All right. Nine of Pentacles represents an increase of finances. Could be that promotion. Hence, it comes after the Seven of Pentacles as a building up of finances or investment. And then it comes in as, the you know, Nine of Pentacles following the Seven of Pentacles. It's an increase. Increase. The Pentacles always represents uh, not only generosity, uh, Pisces, but... Um, security and stability and oftentimes um, longevity long-term stuff okay so keep that in mind now let's see what the final card is for you Pisces following the nine of Pentacles in the upright so it's your energy again it's the seven of cups so you have plenty of cups here many options to pick and choose from the seven of Pentacles could also be regarded as options as well so the only minor tick to this is that, you know, if you are presented with options during this two week period of time that you choose, pick and choose what is best going to resonate for you for your highest good, because you don't want to end up doing or picking something or choosing something that's going to come back and bite you in your ass. Plain and simple. This is also the card of illusion. So don't get suckered into any types of false illusions. All right cups representing your energy and the other energy of water cancer and scorpio male or female it mirrors the seven of the seven of cups mirrors the nine of cups this is all about relations ships okay uh in some type of aspect you have the two of cups as your overall energy so things being in harmony uh seeing eye to eye um with one another okay the start of new relationships friendships um, invitations, going out and spending quality time with uh, family members and friends. Okay, good emotional support. Finally, Pisces, you get some good energy. All right, so be careful where you put those keys. <laughs> be careful where you leave your purse. Because um, we got a thief among us. So be careful. Somebody wants to return from the past, but whoever it is... If it's you, Pisces, you, there's still conflicting energies. And if it's someone from your past wants to return, they're still holding on to some uh, type of conflicting energy as well. All right. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Let's hope the energy, um, you know, unfolds for you. And so continue to throw the comments in and let me know. Always appreciate those comments. Uh, comments just as much as I appreciate you as long as they're kept clean all right Pisces with that being said this uh ends your reading here so please be safe always emphasizing that safety and enjoy the holiday season for those who celebrate uh Easter okay sending uh, love and light out to you until I talk to you again take care Pisces bye <laughs>